So I was able to find myself a fantastic deal on the Street Fighter 2 head-to-head cocktail cabinet from Arcade 1UP, something that I've had my eye on for quite some time. In this video, I'm going to show you all the ins and outs of this fantastic cabinet, coming up next. Now, I'll be the first to admit, when the specific cocktail cabinet was announced from Arcade 1UP back at CES 2019, I was a bit skeptical about it. See, I grew up in the 90s arcade fighting scene, so when I think about facing off against my friends on my favorite Capcom arcade titles, never really do I envision it on a cocktail cabinet. And it wasn't until E3 2019 where I actually got to play this unit firsthand that I actually began to see the allure of this unique configuration. For starters, what we have is 12 great Capcom games included on this table, seven of which were found previously on the regular Arcade 1UP Street Fighter and Final Fight cabinet releases, meaning you're essentially getting both those arcade cabinets included games, plus five additional games on top of it. Now there are a few versions of these cocktail cabinets available, ranging anywhere from $400 to $500 retail price, depending on which style you go with and who you buy it from retailer-wise. What's special about these five additional games on this table is that they've never been offered before on any other Arcade 1UP products. Player 1 and Player 2 both have their own dedicated control panels with six action buttons and an eight-way joystick that has a square restrictor gate installed. Something that can be easily swapped and changed out for an octagonal restrictor gate should you wish to do so. Graphics on the control deck and the tabletop are the same iconic design from the Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition arcade cabinet. The joysticks and the buttons are the same exact type used on the majority of recent released cabinets like Marvel Super Heroes, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Mortal Kombat cabinets from Arcade 1UP. The Player 1 control deck also has the power on and off switch as well as the volume adjustment toggle giving this player full control over the volume of the game for both players. Both sides feature two speakers on each of their control decks, which allows for four speakers pumping out simultaneous sound during gameplay. This is an awesome feature and it also helps correct a previous sound issue on the original Wave 1 Street Fighter cabinet from Arcade 1UP, where certain sound channels were omitted and the cabinet did not provide an authentic arcade stereo sound experience. Inside the cabinet, you will find the unique daisy chain control connections that allow Player 1 and Player 2 control decks to connect with the PCB inside. This machine utilizes the newer PCBs found in the current generation of cabinets, with features like the 3.5mm audio out, micro USB port for flashing any necessary changes to the PCB, as well as the power port for the illuminated marquee. Obviously, now there is no light-up marquee on this machine, but for manufacturing purposes, it makes perfect sense that they would be utilizing the same parts and materials for this head-to-head -head table as they would their other arcade cabinets. The 17-inch LCD screen is actually uniquely built into this tabletop of the cabinet, meaning if you had any issues with your screen upon arrival, or if you wanted to install a different one, you would likely need to do some severe surgery to remove the existing one. These newer generation screens do look great, and the screen sits perfectly flush with the top of the table, making it look even more impressive. Another great improvement is the fact that this cabinet saves high scores now, even after unplugging the machine. Now, Arcade 1UP has altered the bezel design graphics on the tabletop slightly, in an effort to make sure that all four sides of the characters were facing outwards respectively. There is still the ever-famous typo on the bezel for Balrog's name present here, just as it was on the original full-size arcade cabinet back in the day. Naturally, Arcade 1UP has centered their business model around making smaller, more space-friendly versions of the iconic arcade machines we all know and love. This table is no different case. It's of slightly smaller scale than most cocktail cabinets around, measuring 25 inches tall from the floor to the top of the table, 24 inches wide, and 35 and a half inches deep. Now, everyone's size and shape and everything is going to vary from person to person, obviously. I'm six foot one, and while yes, I can play this machine as is, straight out of the box, I can't do it comfortably for a long period of time. Thankfully, it's super easy to throw on some furniture legs onto the bottom of this machine. Simply screw them on, and they're height adjustable, or you can get some fixed height, all sorts of different shapes and sizes, so you can find whatever personally suits your need. I specifically went with these because they brought up the table to about 29 and a half inches tall from the floor, which is pretty much the standard height for most cocktail cabinets. Very simple install and quick fix for anyone out there worried about the cabinet height. 
Gameplay on this machine is exactly as its name suggests. It's head to head, with player one and player two both having equal portions of the screen split in half with each side mirrored to correspond and face each player's perspective. What you see is what you get because there are no settings to adjust here. 11 of the 12 included games are just set to this viewing style automatically and you can't change it. The sole game that does not is Commando. This game plays in its vertical orientation, and if player 2 is activated, the screen will automatically flip when player 1 dies, allowing for the second player to begin their game. Once they die, it spins back to player 1 again, and then so on and so forth. Just like with many other arcade 1UP machines though, there are no dip switch settings that can be accessed from the menu or the stock system, meaning the game's difficulties are all locked in specific settings, and games like Street Fighter 2 Turbo are still stuck in the default level 2 Turbo setting just as it was on the three-quarter scale Street Fighter standalone cabinet from Arcade 1UP. When it comes to the actual build quality and durability of this machine, well, I'm happy to say it feels sturdy and it was packaged exceptionally well inside the retail box. This machine goes together in even less time than the standard Arcade 1UP cabinet, and the big things here are that both control decks have their own dedicated clear plastic overlays covering the controls, and the tabletop has an even thicker plastic overlay that is screwed onto the table itself. I fully believe this thicker plastic layer covering the top of the table to be able to withstand the normal rigors and abuse that most people can throw at it. And I really have no worries about leaving drinks or keys on top of this machine for fear that something might damage the machine or scratch the surface during normal coffee table-like use. In summation, I gotta say I'm really enjoying this cabinet. Now, I did pay less than $250 thanks to an online coupon that unfortunately is no longer valid, but currently online, the cheapest price available is $294.99 for Nebraska Furniture Mart. Now granted, that is with free shipping, so it's a heck of a deal, but not a lot of you have a Nebraska Furniture Mart in your area, thus you may not be able to have this shipped to your house and not be able to take advantage of this deal. Next best option is currently Amazon, as of the making of this video, has this on sale for $329 free shipping, which again is a great deal in my opinion. The $400 and the $429 MSRP asking price I think is reasonable. Unfortunately though, since most of us are going to have to buy furniture legs to raise these cabinets up to be able to play them comfortably, I think that takes away from the value of it and therefore it needs to be closer to that $300 mark, just in my personal opinion. But. I hope you enjoyed this content. I hope you enjoyed this look at this cabinet. If you want to see more about this cabinet as far as modifications and what you can do, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'll be upgrading the joysticks, the buttons, show you how to add more games, as well as replace the monitor with a bigger one. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and you don't miss future updates because those are coming very, very soon. And last but not least, thanks so much for watching, guys. It really means a lot.